Mm, time. The great mystery of the universe. Scientists have defined it as a dimension, the fabric of space-time. Theosophists will tell you that it's a finite reality outside of which dwells the Almighty. Albert Einstein proved it to be relative and affected by gravity and velocity through time dilation. What Einstein didn't know is that time is also relative to the simple reality of being Lebanese. You see, physicists will tell you that time can be dilated, time can be stretched. A Lebanese person will tell you that time can be negotiated. Because commerce is in their blood. They negotiate everything, even time. Think of the word hella. See, in Lebanese Arabic, hella literally means now. But we always use it for later. Maybe later, at some point. Shoop to Jemai? Hella shoop. Mawad ak tekun? Hella bachway. Hella bachway. The biggest contradiction. It literally means now, later, or now in a bit. It's as if we're trying to say the desire is now, but it's gonna happen in a few seconds. Give me a few seconds. Minutes, hours, days. Right. Shu mashase sraj bagrad? Hella bachway. Hella bachway. Taim. Hella farjik. Uh, we Lebanese people are also very good at time travel, you know? We'll use the past tense and present progressive to actually refer to the future. You know, we like to jump a couple of time zones or go interstellar with some time stretch. Now I know a lot of people do that, not just the Lebanese people. You can argue that it's a human thing. Um, I just think that the Lebanese are very good at it. Yeah? So why do we do that? What's the psychology behind that? Think about it. If I'm supposed to be there in like 5-10 minutes, instead it's going to take me like 30 minutes, an hour, you're going to be like, what? So instead what I do is I try to stretch it. Now I play and negotiate with time. 5 minutes, I'll be right there, I swear. So that does really, when I say 5 minutes, it means like I can buy another 10, 15 minutes before you call me pissed off again and I buy another 5-10 minutes all in all it's like 30 minutes I paced it, you know, I diffused your anger I stretched your patience, you know cause situation should have happened alright, I had to buy some time negotiation, see? now there's a good and bad side to that the bad side is that if you overdo it you become someone who's not true to their word you're unreliable in the wrong time however, on the other hand if you have the sense of negotiation it also means that you're flexible, you give and take, you don't fuss over minutes. So in the end, I think it's a matter of balance. You need to draw hard lines, be reliable, be on time, but you also need to be adaptable, flexible, give and take. So there you have it, my friends, Lebanese time. If you liked the video, like, share, comment, follow, like now. Like, hella, not uh, batch way. <laughs>